So you wanna know how to put text behind you on CapCut? Well, you came to the right place. So once you've got CapCut opened up, the first thing you wanna do is make sure you got the layout that you feel most comfortable with. Now, this right here is the default layer. What I mean by that is when you pull up your video to edit, it's gonna be right here. Now, in my opinion, there's a lot of wasted real estate because it's a vertical video. Now, if you click this button right here, you go to vertical, it's gonna open up so much more space. That, that video preview of your edits now goes on the right hand side and now you've got so much more real estate to play with in the settings. That's the very first thing you wanna do. Now, you wanna find the section of the video that you wanna edit. Go through the, go through the video, find the, find the spoken word or whatever, find the section that you want. And once it's done, like we're gonna do, we're gonna do this as an example. I don't know who needs to hear this, but this is, I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you are a creator, I don't know who needs to hear this. Okay, we'll clip it there. Creator, and you keep calling yourself a perfectionist and you don't post content because you feel as though your content isn't perfect. I got news for you. You're not a perfectionist. You're just scared. So you know what? We're not gonna do a full edit. We're just gonna use that one little section. Um, now, what I personally like to do is I like to Get the edit done. I like to do all the color grading and stuff at the end. Um, I like to do, so what you're gonna do is go to text. There's a few different ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you the most efficient way. You're gonna go to auto captions. We're gonna generate. Now what that's gonna do is generate the captions for you. This is, this is obviously before, this is something that a lot of us editors had to do manually. Um, but now it's just auto captions. But also you might want text behind you that has nothing to do with what you're saying. It's just, it could be the title, it could be the hook, whatever it may be. Um, so I'm gonna go over that at the end. I'm gonna just go over do this first. Make sure you got uh, apply to all so that everything changes. So we're just gonna use this. We're gonna change the color. All right, and then, no, I don't like that actually. Let's go to, um, let's use a nice little blue. This is, this is just an example video anyway. We're gonna go to animate, uh, we're gonna go to captions, and we're gonna go to bounce out. You're just scared. What that's gonna do now is that every single word comes separately, like so. But if you are a creator and you keep calling yourself, right, as opposed to it being just full out. Okay, so bounce out's the one you- You're just scared. Make it bigger, and uh, I like to, personally like to tighten, tighten the text up. Now what we're gonna do is this. I'm gonna choose to zoom in slightly and center myself. Once I got the framing of how I want myself, I'm gonna copy the entire layer over it, okay? I'm gonna mute one so that it doesn't sound like it's double audio. All right, so now one is on top of the other. The one that's on top, you're gonna go to remove background and you're gonna go to auto removal. I'm gonna show you various different ways to do this, but this is just the quickest way for now. But if this, if you have any issues with this, uh, this feature on CapCut and it gives you issues, I'll show you a different option, okay? So we're just gonna wait. You can see the timer right here, 46%, 40. I'm just gonna wait for that to get done. Essentially what it's doing is the AI tool is cutting me out of the background. It's separating me, which before you would have to manually mask it out. But with all these new features of like auto captions and, you know, cut out, I'm able to do this so quickly. Okay. So now what we're going to do is use this icon to just make the background with the, the, the bottom layer invisible. And that just basically confirms to me that, okay, the cutout of me is totally fine. That's actually pretty good considering so we put that back. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna lock the caption layer so it doesn't move around. We're gonna put this layer on top of it, okay? Unlock that, and then using the this tool, actually let's lock this layer so we don't move it around. Now the audio, the text is able to go behind my head. All right, now, personally I like, I think it looks super cool when it's just a little bit. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you are a creator and you keep, you don't, it's actually bothering me how wide the, I like it, I like it when the text is tight. If you are a creator and you keep calling yourself a perfectionist. That didn't look good because the perfectionist was too big. It goes over. Let's make it small. It's 
the person I think that like post content because you feel as though your content isn't perfect. I got news for you. You're not a perfectionist. You're just scared. See, I don't know who needs And that's it. That's literally version option one on how to get text behind your head on CapCut. Now let's go to option number two. So we're gonna keep the we're gonna keep the text there. Option two, let's just uh, let's delete this layer and just imagine it's not there. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy that layer again. You're going to obviously mute it again, and then you're gonna go to mask. You're gonna add a mask, and you can go to pen. You can go to brush, uh, and what you want to do, zoom in, and you can literally mask it out yourself using the brush tool. The reason I'm giving you this option is because you might want to mask a building and that remove background doesn't allow you to do that. You might want to mask um, little things. If you're in a chair and you want it to be like going through one leg and the other leg, you have the option. So that's why the mask tool um, is comes in incredibly handy for this. Again, I'm just going to use my head as the example. Uh, but the premise is the same, it's putting text behind an object or behind a person. We're going to let that finish. Considering that's actually doing it pretty good. Again, same thing, just put the text behind. And look, it just did it for me. Now, I didn't remove the entire background, I just removed that entire head. Also, the reason why understanding how to do it with the mask tool, pen tool or brush tool is incredibly important is because Oftentimes, the removed background isn't always perfect, right? Sometimes it will, like for example, let's delete that and let's do that again. Let's do remove background, auto remove removal, uh, and it's already done it. If you look, it's quite choppy, like because if you notice, my socks are the same color as the concrete, so it didn't actually remove it there. And oftentimes, your own skin color could be. Uh, the same color as the background. There just could be things in the way. It's not always going to be perfect, right? The next thing you can do is using this with auto removal uh, feature, you can actually expand it a little bit. Uh, you can feather it too if you don't want it too harsh. Uh, let's see how that looks like. See the feather too? It gives it a little bit of a glow. Personally, I don't think that looks good to be honest with you. Um, and then the next thing you can do is with that auto removal, I think this is pretty cool, is you can add a stroke. Stroke, am I saying that right? Stroke, right? Something like a, like this. This is in CapCut, right? I, I think that looks, let's just get rid of the text. Let's just say hypothetically you want, you know, something like this. I actually used this paper cut uh, um, recently in a project where I paused it and I put the paper cut around me for like two seconds and then went back to normal. So this is something that you cool you can also do that I think is super cool um, in uh, CapCut. Now let's get rid of that. Uh, the next thing I want to show you guys is this. Once you got the something like this, you can also have this for a thumbnail. Like so, for example, let's just say you don't want text behind you for the video and you want it for like just say a, a, a picture or a thumbnail right you could do this let's get once you've got the certain text like let's just say that is the exact moment in time that I wanted uh, as a picture I'm gonna actually do one thing I'm gonna just play around with this one second just to... let's just say that's just what I want my picture to be boom export still frame now you have a picture of the text behind you. All right, now option three, is this not option three, this is a variation, another variation. Let's just say you don't want captions. Let's just say you don't want the captions in front of you. Let's put the captions here. Let's just say you want it like this. This is how you want the video to be. All right, we're gonna go to text. We're gonna go to add text. Gonna add the text here. This is gonna be the title of the video. And hypothetically, uh, we want it to say something like, listen up. No, that's not really got a hook to it. Um, advice for creators, creators keep messing up, mess up. Uh, what was the video about? Uh, you're scared. 
your fear. Let's just do your fear. This is what I had it at. I'm just being picky and I'm making it look the way I want it to look. Um, You can literally just use the title. I don't know who needs to hear this, but as uh, as the text that goes behind you, all right? And then that being said, go back to the removed uh, layer, add a stroke. Let's just make the stroke um, like this. We're gonna make it black. We're gonna make it look like this. And is there a way to, no, there's not a way to uh, make the opacity lower. Oh, well, I was just gonna do a little shadow behind me, but I guess that's not gonna work. Oh, let's do it with this. To be honest, not gonna lie, that does not look good. We're gonna get rid of that. Okay, so there you go. This, but if you are a creator, and you keep calling yourself a perfectionist and you don't post content because you feel as though you're I don't know about you, looks pretty cool. And then from there, what I like to do is let's just say you're gonna put a filter, you're gonna put, um, might be a little bit dark for this video. Let's show, I don't feel like any of these. Again, this is just hypothetical. Let's just use freedom, okay? Once you put your filter on or your color grading, you gotta make sure that this is underneath everything. So then it doesn't obscure and it doesn't ruin everything. So you wanna put that underneath. The other thing you can do is just do it to the actual layer, the layer itself. But let's just say hypothetical, you wanna do it the easy way, you wanna put a layer on, you can always do it like that, okay? so. Now you'll notice that this layer is still above it, so the so the color grading isn't affected to that. That is when you wanna actually do it to the layer itself so that it matches. Again, that's just uh, an example. I actually don't like that filter without well, luck. So there you go. That, that's the, a few options that you guys can do to get text behind you for free in CapCut. Number one, remove background. Uh, put the captions behind it, double that layer up. And number two, uh, you can mask, copy the layer, put the layer on top, mask it, put the text behind it on the layer. Uh, and then the other ones is you can have the entire captions behind it, or you can just put your title. And then the lastly is you can actually make it as a picture. If you want the thumbnail, you can do it. I mean, to be honest, you can do it on Canva anyway, but let's just say you're there, you're making the video, you want the, you know, you want to do it there and then, boom, you can, uh, can do it there and then so let's uh i don't know who needs to hear this but if you are a creator and you keep calling yourself a perfectionist and you don't post content and just like that in less than uh less than 15 minutes you got text behind you on CapCut. peace